Hey friends, Mario Caval here with the Dragon Roars on. I have been having such a good time this last uh, three weeks or so. I ended up lining up like one, two, three, four, five, five uh, upcoming video topics that are, they're all just going to be great videos and I'm just going to need a few days to get to them because I've just been super, super busy. And uh, I'm going to give you a preview of those in a second. Um, and we're going to spend a few minutes doing a vintage vinyl review of a fantastic dual acoustic piano evening in concert with Chick Corea and Herbie Hancock, 1978. Wow, I'll spend a few minutes on that. And I, there's some very important things about this vintage, about this vintage vinyl right here I have to explain to you. I read the liner notes. We have to take five minutes and talk about it. Before I do, here's what's coming up. So, last week and this week, I'm speaking at uh, a big real estate summit uh, here in China, and it includes a, a trade delegation who came in from the United States, uh, sponsored by Zhu uh, which is the big Chinese company that matches up Chinese buyers with real estate developers in the United States, and also Lenar Homes, the number one home developer in the United States, a few other organizations, and real, uh, realtor associations in uh, Orange County, in California, a couple, uh, Las Vegas, a couple of others. So I'm, I'm, I'm delighted to tell you I've been asked to offer them my uh, China expertise <clears throat> keynote speech, and I've been doing that, and I recorded it in the, at the Shanghai session a few days ago, and it turned out really well, 40 minutes. So I'm going to divide that into two parts, and I'm going to upload it, and it's going to be a nice, fresh take on what's happening here in China. Very, very good. I'm happy about that, and I'm happy to be able to share that with you coming up in a few days. Number two, next video is coming up is going to be Meet China's Middle Class Millionaires. What, Mario? Middle class? Millionaires? Well, if they're middle class, they're not millionaires. No, if they're middle class, you just don't know that they're millionaires. And that's the point. Um, some organization, and I won't use a name, suggested that there's only a now like a million, that China has achieved a million people who have a million dollars in cash, like have achieved that target. And I asked everybody that I know, and we all just like started laughing hysterically that that's like, what? What are you talking about? There's a million people with a million dollars in cash in Shanghai alone, let alone the whole rest of the country. You, you, there, there's just so much cash here, and of course that's the what my first book's about. So we're going to talk in more detail about this. You're going to meet China's middle class millionaires, people who have a lot of money, and you have no idea that they have it because they just seem like regular middle class. Uh, number three, oh, I'm embarrassed. My still promised Guangzhou local electronics market video. I've got such cool videos. I went to the, 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 the old tube shops and the old vintage shops, and I found a, a vintage turntable repair shop just loaded up with old vintage turntables and they'll restore them for I mean it's just just incredible I, I've got to get that video done I promise you I'll get to it soon and the, and the little video shots I took while I was down there are going to blow your mind when you see them you're just going to be like things you've never seen anywhere else in the world it's unbelievable and next I'm, I'm going to do a video number four on the real situation of what's going on with going to church in China the real situation with the Christian church is the Catholic church in China. All you hear back in the West is, China is persecuting the Ch Christians and wants to kill them all and is destro wants to destroy Christians. <clears throat> no. Not true. Um, not, not true at all. Um, so we're going we're gonna to clarify that one. It's really, really important to clarify this one. Uh, folks, it's, everything's okay. Don't be worrying about China and the Christians. Everything's fine, um, but there's a lot, of, and there's a lot of details for me to talk to you about that one. You know, and by the way, I would know Italian Catholic Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Shanghai, and lots of other Catholic churches in China. You want to go to church here in China? No problem. You just go to church. Um, and number five is my favorite. Xi Jinping saved my life. I actually heard a person utter those words, and I was like. What? What are you talking about? Well, it's so wonderful and so funny, uh, and so and just so great. 
I, I just wrapped up a visit, uh, a three or four day visit to Chengdu in Sichuan, which is the first city that I came to in China. And uh, I shot a bunch of little videos that are just so great. Chengdu is such a wonderful, wonderful city. And I spent an evening talking and visiting with a dear old friend from Chengdu, someone that I'd met when I first went. Now, this is 20 years ago, because I first came to China in 1999. And he said to me, we were talking about the things that had been happening in China and the changes in the society, the changes in the government. And we got onto the subject of Xi Jinping and the things that he's been focusing on and doing. And he and, and this this gentleman said to me, he said, Xi Jinping saved my life. I said, Wow. How and why do you say that? And that's gonna be that video. It's good stuff, really good stuff, and it gives us all a sense of what we want here, which is to understand what's really happening in China. All right. That's what's coming up. But right now, an evening with Herbie Hancock and Chick Corea in concert. This is uh CBS Records, 1978. Look at this. Side one, someday my prince will come and Liza. Now, I listened to side one today. Now, this is Herbie Hancock and Chick Corea on dueling 12-foot concert Steinway grand pianos. And they did these performances over four locations. Recorded live at Masonic Auditorium, San Francisco. Dorothy Chandler Pavilion, Los Angeles. Golden Hall. Auditorium in San Diego and the Hill Auditorium Ann Arbor. I'm assuming Ann Arbor is Michigan. February 1978. Okay? And for the record, Herbie Hancock is, when you're listening to the record, Herbie Hancock is on the left and Chick Corea is on the right. Wow. Now here's, here's the liner notes. Well, first of all, I'll tell you the songs. And then, the, and then the liner notes said three things I want to point out. And then we're done. I listened to side one today. Someday my prince will come. And again, I play jazz piano, so and I know how to play these tunes. So I know how incredible these two musicians are. I mean, they can do stuff that I just can't even fathom. And I'm a, I'm a good jazz piano player. You know, I have my, I've got my chops. But these guys, you know, they're the masters, right? Uh... Their rendition of Someday My Prince Will Come in Liza, I, I just sat and I was listening to it. I was just, I was blown away. You know, I was just totally absorbed. Side two is a piece they call Button Up. And side three, February Moment. You might not recognize either of those. But then side four, we go on to Maiden Voyage. Of course, Herbie Hancock's uh, classic. And uh, La Fiesta. Well, why is this album spectacular? And what does this album teach me? I am learning that more and more that if you have speakers which will fully resolve and reveal the details and sound stage of a recording, then you're going to suddenly learn a lot about your recordings. And it doesn't matter whether they're on CD or whether they're on vinyl. It doesn't matter. You know, with vinyl, you get a little bit of surface noise and some snap, crackle, pops if you, don't, if, if you have damaged records. A lot of that, by the way, you can clean up 99% of it. Um, but, and with vinyl, and with CDs, of course, you don't have that. Otherwise, vinyl's better in other ways than CD. Okay, besides that, that's not the subject, that's not the subject of this video. Um, you know, you're listening to a recording, and you're going, hey, wait a minute, there's no bass. My system just, my system sounds like crap. This recording sounds flat. And then you put on another song and you freak out because there's a ton of super articulate deep bass um, and open sound stage and sweet. And, and you're just like, whoa, wow. Well, obviously, what's the difference? It's the recording. So uh, you, we have to conclude and we have to take it in this chain of command order. First, and, and, and everyone who says this is absolutely right, first comes the speakers. You have to have first in the chain, s capable speakers that can properly and ruthlessly, and, and that gets, it can get expensive, but it's not that expensive, okay? My JBL 530s are 1200 list, and they ruthlessly reveal, and without coloration, which means they also ruthlessly reveal whatever's not so good. So, okay, 
whatever speakers it is you have, I hope that they reveal in great detail so that when you're listening to music and you're going through those speakers, I never heard that before. You're noticing detail, really ruthless detail, which is great when you have a good system and a good recording. But the ruthlessly revealing speakers will reveal any weaknesses in your system, which might, which is going to then, of course, be, do you have an amplifier that's capable of driving the ruthlessly wonderful revealing detailed speakers? Um, and that the speakers, I don't just mean detail and ruthless detail, but ruthless detail with the ability of the speakers to throw a sound stage so that you're listening to the music there and the speakers are gone. I mean, th those are your qualifications. There's lots of $1,000 speakers out there that do that really, really well. There's a few $500 speakers out there that do it, but they're lacking in those details. They still do it well. Unify B5s, whatever the heck they're called, a Unify concentric thing from um, Klipsch RP600s is the big thing now, $550. No, sorry, but they don't quite do it, okay? You know, even Sean, who does great videos, um, just acknowledged it like look come on they, they, they have color they color the music right okay you, you have to be honest right so yeah they do a great job for 500 but they don't re they're not ruthlessly reveal um, uh, and and the JBLs do um, and the SVS ultras at a thousand dollars also do um, so once you've now established that you've got the articulate ruthlessly revealing speakers that can throw an excellent sound stage. Then you hook them up to a nice amplifier and a good CD and or a digital and or analog source, like a good good turntable, you're good to go. And you're down to the recordings. You're down to the you're you're down to the recordings. You put on good vinyl and you listen to it and you're gonna go, wow it sounds great. You put on vinyl that wasn't recorded well and that's compressed and it doesn't sound great. And your system is going to reveal that it doesn't sound great. Right? I mean, that's the, and then the same for CDs. So this happened to me today with two pieces of music. This and another one I'll mention. I popped in a digital file. It was Duke Ellington's Caravan, and it was the Dave Grusin's rather modern, slightly funky rendition of Duke Ellington's Caravan. And it's the digital, I have the digital 320K bit file, which is, you can't tell the difference between that file and the lossless file. And it blew me away. I mean, I was like, whoa, there's so much bass and dynamics. I just couldn't believe it. Because, you know, you're, you're, you know, you're listening to your JBL 530s and, and some a few pairs of other speakers with five and a quarter inch two ways um, and even six and a half inch two ways. And you just can't believe how much clean articulate bass is coming out of them. And that was the case. You listen to the music. So you see, once again, it's the source, the source, the source. The amp was capable. The CD player is capable, the speakers are capable, so then it's up to that disc. And now I'm back to Herbie Hancock and Chick Corea. Here's what it says. This is just so cool, I'm going to read this. Oh, I'm going to, let me do it here. In translating, and then we're done. In translating these performances to record, our goal was to keep intact both the spirit and integrity of the actual concerts and the relationship between the audience and the musician. These performances have not been technically or electronically altered, enhanced, nor is the sound limited or compressed. Amen. Thank you very much. Vinyl. So. You CD lovers, you need to get it straight, okay? Vinyl can be better. A CD can be better. A fabulous HD CD or DSD, digital direct stream recording, or a 1978 recording recorded uh, by, I'll tell you the engineers, who, what, and where, okay? Remixed and mastered at the Automat studio in San Francisco, okay, and recorded live, I already told you where, and the sound engineers, let me see here, recording engineer, these are the people to say, 
Thank you to Bernie Kirsch, Fred Catero, Leslie Ann Jones, Mastering Engineer Phil Brown. These, uh, by the way, this was a David Rubinson production with Herbie Hancock. Folks, they're the ones to thank because you heard what they said. They did a superb job of recording it. No enhancement, no nothing weird, and then on completely no compression, full sound, and then mastered to vinyl. Isn't that wonderful? So I just enjoyed this, and I just enjoyed taking a few minutes to share it with you, especially you jazz piano lovers out there like me. That's it. My name is Mario Covallo with The Dragon Roars On. We'll see you again. Thanks very much.